was pretty cool. Here we are, it's November 11th, it's a Wednesday. It's really, really calm today, but we just put out that central and we just had that sp spike missing one side. One horned buck came right down our central. He was basically about four or five yards from me. The hack suit does it again. It's only about one o'clock or about a quarter to two, so it's pretty early. So hopefully we'll, uh, hopefully we got more action coming tonight. We're in a new stand. So I'll kind of give you that view of what the new stand looks like. Good things to happen tonight. Well, there he goes, guys. There's another evening hunt for us here on November 11th. Uh, I sat in a different stand tonight. Um, it was kind of across the, the trail from my other stand, but it was because we had the west wind, and I wanted a different uh, stand for west wind. We did have another buck come in, a nice fork horn. He kind of was on my left shoulder and stayed behind me, and he, he was in pretty thick brush, so I really didn't get much of a chance to film that. But we're going to try something new tomorrow. We're gonna have, uh, we're gonna we're gonna hunt Thursday and Friday, and we're gonna try both days to sit an all day hunt. So that's gonna be tough to do, but we'll give it a shot. So tonight was kind of fun. We got to see that like the unicorn buck. We got him on film with just he only had one spike on one side, and then that we saw a really nice fork horn, uh, real high, nice white horns. Uh, but we couldn't get him on on video. It was he was in some pretty thick stuff, but I got to see him when he first came through. So we'll give it a shot again tomorrow here in the Cunningham Outdoors. Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, we didn't get in the tree super, super early this morning, uh, but it, it's about 9.30, so we're gonna be sitting the whole day today. Uh, funny thing though, I went and put out a double scent trail. I hung two, two kind of scent wicks together that I, that I dragged in the woods for quite a long ways. And here I am in the stand, and I'm turning around, and the next thing you know, a freaking doe was going through the woods right in front of me. <laughs> I had no idea it was there, but there was no buck trailing it. Uh, but you never know, sometimes it takes a while for them to get on the trail, especially if she's hot. But we have a long sit today, about seven and a half hours, so we'll see how we do.
I have never had a buck or a deer, period, get that close to me. He was right, I mean, right underneath me. He was within feet. Maybe, I mean, almost directly underneath me. Wait till you, when you see that video is close. I'll tell you what, we're going to have to do a little little segment on on this hex suit. I mean, we know it's not a scented suit. It doesn't stop your scent. But And even with my phase-out system, when he started to walk away, it was blowing right at him. He never smelt me. Unbelievable. But for him to come that close, I tell you, once he got up by me, it's like, damn. <laughs> that was a nice fork horn to shoot. And I passed it up. But I'm kind of waiting for that eight, maybe even that six, depending what kind of opportunity I get. But holy crap, that would have been a, could have jumped on him. That was really cool. But the hex suit, unreal best investment ever if you don't have a hex suit you need to get one now because it changes the way you hunt Let's see what happens here we got a couple more hours well guys we only got about 10 minutes left so unless something happens i'll let you know but uh, that wraps up a full day of sitting here about a little over seven hours so like I said, if something happens, I'll let you know. But otherwise, pretty good night. Uh, actually, day. Had that one doe come in kind of early before we even got buckled in to sit down. We didn't get to get her on tape because it happened so fast. And then we had that fork horn right underneath us. So we'll be at it again tomorrow here on Cunningham Outdoors.